Oh hi, I'm the heretic. The following is a response to the birds and the BS on gun control, written by my viewers to celebrate reaching 500 subscribers. Thank you for everyone who submitted a script. Stay awesome and stay heretical. When you can't make sense of the world today, ask Mr. Jordan to show you the way. On the birds and the BS. More like the birds and the bias. Please tell me this isn't a musical. Morning everyone, and welcome to the Birds and the BS, where we encourage you to actually take the advice you give your children. Oh god, why am I the one to encounter this thing? Please don't make me go through this. Yeah, you probably already know what's going on here. Another straw man festival by yours truly, the Gun Snatchers. Today's letter comes from Allie in Alabama. Dear Mr. Jordan, my son is always playing with his gum and spitting it on the floor, so I've made a no gum in the house rule. My daughter says she always uses her gum responsibly, so it's still her right to chew. Should I let my daughter keep her gum? No matter what you do, your son will always sneak more gum into the house. Hmm. Allie, let me use an analogy to help with this one. Imagine for a moment that I am surrounded by people who play with their gun. With these people spitting bullets all over, would my mother still let me keep my gun? How else does she expect you to protect yourself? This is a terrible analogy anyways. Guns aren't gum. If I were using my gun the right way, but others weren't, would you still let me keep mine? Of course not. But I didn't do anything wrong. It's a fair point you make. This was not your mistake. I'm a law-abiding son. Why take away my gun? But as a mother in charge of your fun, the axe of another can ruin it for everyone. What a wonderful analogy. The government is my mother and therefore has the right to take things away from me because someone else in the house misused their rights. And that's because, as you always say, This is why we can't have nice assault weapons or, you know what, guns of any kind. When it comes to our kids, it's time for us to step in instead of think and pray for peace of mind. I love that you're not actually addressing arguments against gun control. Like the only two options are take away everyone's gun or let people get slaughtered. Governments as sacrifices sometimes should be made in the name of the greater good. Oh, come, come, Sergeant. You should be ashamed. Calling yourself a community that cares. Oh, but we do care, Nicholas. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. Shut it! Someone tainted Tylenol, they fixed the flaw. There was one shoe bomb, and they changed the law. And when guns kill kids, that's the fine. Guns don't kill kids. Psychotic monsters kill kids. Or in the case of Parkland, Sandy Hook, or the recent YouTube shooting, the police do nothing and allow them to die. Second Amendment. Ah, that's exactly what they always do. They shoot us down by invoking the Second Amendment. Don't they understand how much there is to lose? There are lives at stake and don't forget whose. Look, I'm no constitutionalist, but when people invoke the Second Amendment, they're not just doing it to tick you off. That's a side benefit. They do so because whether you like it or not, people have the right to own weapons. Nothing's more important than the safety of a child, so time to take your guns and the rhetoric is stockpiled. You're right. It's a complete injustice that schools are gun-free zones. We protect our politicians and money with guns. Why not our kids? Whoa, that's pretty radical. Most of us are against assault weapons, but even we liberals can't go after the Second Amendment itself. Why not? I mean, we just don't. It's always, look, we're not saying we're coming for your guns. Actually, now we are. Wait, really? Mm. At least you're now being honest about your ultimate goals. Just stop using children as an unjustifiable excuse to push your agenda forward. This is why we can't have compromise. I understand you think that hunting's neat, but sometimes our pastimes jeopardize our lives, which matter more than your precious skeet. I understand you really had a ball, then one lone wolf went and ruined it all. So was that the birds or are we still on the BS? The Second Amendment is not there to protect hunting. That is ridiculous. It is there to prevent the government from growing too tyrannical and to aid in the formation of a militia if needed. You'd know that if you knew anything about the amendment you're trying to abolish. And by one, I mean 96 deaths a day. 
most of which are suicides. Take those away and you get a little over 30 gun deaths a day, which is a considerably smaller number than the one you provided, which, by the way, doesn't mean over 30 gun murders. That still includes self-defense cases, and doesn't come close to the daily deaths caused by, let's say, abortion. So even though there are a lot of people who use guns responsibly, the fun we get to have with them isn't worth the destruction they cause. Exactly. You know, there's a lot of things we do that with. Like lawn darts, uh -huh. Sudafed, and adopted animals are harder to get than a gun because of the actions of a few. Exactly. If you seriously believe it's easy to buy a gun, it's because you've never tried. But what about safety? And guns for protection? Allow me to issue a logic correction. A gun beneath your pillow makes you feel secure. Till you think your granny's a burglar, then it loses its alarm. They say a good guy with a gun could stop a bad guy with a gun. But neither has to die if neither one has one. Yeah, because banning guns makes it so literally every single criminal instantly becomes a law-abiding citizen. It's not like there's any other way they can get a hold of a firearm, right? Most criminals already use illegal firearms to commit crimes due to them being harder to trace. You would be disarming the law-abiding citizens you wish to protect, and the biggest flaw is that you try to justify that by assuming that every criminal will follow rules they already don't. Guns are used to save lives more often than take them. Granted, I couldn't find the original statistics the article cites, but it is idiotic to claim that guns are never used for self-defense, and even more so to claim that gun control will get rid of all guns. Criminals do not obey laws. I only wonder how these men will find their sense of self-worth and masculinity without their pew pew. Who you are as a man isn't found in your gun, and who we are as a country should be safe for everyone. Australian state butch after their overhaul. So if you're a macho prick, you can stay one after all. You really don't want to try and claim you're an expert on manliness. This is why we can't have Rambo teachers. This is why we can't have dummy leaders. This is why we can't have not nice things. And when the government needs to be overthrown, get, get your, your ass out and vote, because we can do this alone. So you're saying that if we ban all guns and it backfires by helping the government institute a police state and, well, tyranny, we can just vote for more politicians? The same politicians who were responsible for tyranny in the first place? You don't overthrow a government by supporting its system and giving it more power. And don't even think about mentioning that stupid argument that the US military can't be fought with AR-15s in the first place due to their advanced military equipment. That is far from true, and if it was true, all that proves is that, if anything, we need to allow citizens to have access to advanced military equipment, too. That's all for today, folks. Allie, tell your daughter she can play with her bazooka gum all she wants, as long as she joins the March for Our Lives. And join us next time when we'll send our thoughts and prayers that Marco Rubio wakes up to find his balls between his legs instead of his gun. Till then... This is why we can't have the Electoral College. What did any of this have to do with the Electoral... Wait. You were using that gum metaphor earlier as a very poor analogy for why you could and should take away guns. So if this metaphor held, we shouldn't be allowed to have the bazooka gum. So why did you say she could? You could have just made this video without the analogy. It still would have been poor, but it wouldn't have reversed its own message at the last possible second. Ugh. This is not how you convince people to join your side. Even if every point you made here was completely accurate, you treated your audience like infants and were belligerent towards your opposition. All this is going to do is push more people away from your cause. No one wants children to die, but you're not interested in saving kids' lives. You're interested in getting your political agenda done and expanding the power of the state. Questions? Comments? Critique? Thank you all again for liking and sharing my videos and helping me get to 500 subscribers. Actually, it's 700 now, but close enough, right? Anyways, like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today.